and welcome to today's video. It's gonna be another lash video and let me just put you all on something because I don't want to be dramatic but these are life-changing and I'm so excited that I gave them a go and these are the Kiss Impress Press On lashes and you can see that these are basically like a lash cut into pieces and basically they have these little thin strips of glue on them so they're just like a little bit tacky but it's not necessarily like really gooey kind of glue or anything like that and when i saw these on the ulta website i was extremely skeptical i was like what are the odds of these actually working out it said that they're new i was like let me just try it out i've been using the falscara from kiss as well as lashify and lilac street which those you have to apply like a almost like a lash glue to the bottom of your lashes and then you stick on these clusters from the bottom of your lash and as much as i love those i do prefer just being able to like stick these on and not have to worry about the glue any sort of residue or anything like that now these don't really have a claim on how long they last just kidding it is a 24 hour secure hold i have been able to stretch these to like into day four this is going to very much depend on how you take care of your lashes and i will get into some other details after the application portion they have a bunch of different styles they don't have all of them on ulta's website but the ones that i do have are spiky which are actually the first ones that i tried this first style and there are how many 20 clusters and it claims to be two to three full applications I need three clusters for each eye for it to be like a full lash look so sometimes they can fall apart depending on how you're picking them up so you have to be really careful picking them up from the plastic tray otherwise they do come apart and then you're short one so you might not be able to get full applications and of course you can kind of mix and match these as you want and then they also have the natural style which I haven't tried this one yet so that's the one I'm going to be using in this video as some of the other ones I don't think I have full applications left and then there's also the voluminous style and and then the glamorous style which is a little bit on the thicker side so I don't really expect these to last as long because they are going to be just a little bit heavier and they do come with an applicator personally I don't like this applicator at all like at all it just does not make sense with this application like something about the fact that this is kind of in the center of this part where you would be kind of picking the lash up and applying it it just doesn't work because you kind of have to afterwards squeeze your lashes together so I don't like this applicator they also have this applicator that comes with the falscara sets which are the glue on ones but um, I'm pretty sure you can buy these separately so this one is way better than that one and then in my opinion the lashify applicator is the best out of all of them but of course like you might not want to put in an order from lashify just to get this applicator but this applicator is just brilliant so kiss if you're watching this video please 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 make refinements to this applicator because it just does not make things easy this so much easier there's definitely a learning curve with applying these i've been applying these kinds of clusters to the bottom of my lashes for quite a few months now so i am a little bit more experienced that being said i don't feel like they're really really hard to put on even as you begin especially these ones but it might take you just a little bit of practice so definitely don't get discouraged so again i'm using the natural style so here you can see that there's kind of one long sticky band here and then there's about four or five prongs i believe that are kind of sticking out which is what will stick to your lashes you don't have to put any sort of mascara on especially if you want to wear them for a couple of days i don't think you really want to have mascara on your lashes for a few days and sleep with that i only have mascara on my lower lashes right now so my top lashes are completely clean and i did curl them with a lash curler so basically how this is set up this bottom row has the longest lash pieces and then this top row they're shorter so i usually like to do one long one on the outer corner and then two shorter ones you could also do two long ones and then one shorter one it's really going to depend on the size of your lash line three pretty much cover me really well i think if i only use two it would be a little strange so this is about how i pick them up you want to make sure that you are facing them you're facing the top of the lash up and so i like to hold the very edge of the lash and then you can you don't have to do this you can totally lift your lash up and I do have a, it's kind of a two-hand thing for me personally. So I do like to have a mirror that is sitting down on the table. And so I just push them together to make sure that they stick down. You can even use your fingers just to really make sure 
that your lashes are stuck and that's how easy that was. I don't feel it at all. I don't feel like these are heavy, especially this natural style. I don't think you would be able to feel these. You might feel a little bit. Your lid will get used to it. Now these don't irritate my eyes. However, if you do tend to sleep a little weird, they might be a little pokey as this is, you know, you want to get this as close to your lash line as possible, but obviously not too, too close. So onto the second piece. And this one is also the longer one. Just wanted to show you. See how easy that is? You can use your fingers, just push them together. You can see that it's a little bit sticky, not too much. Done. Onto the third piece. I feel like this is really hard to do because I'm usually like super close to the mirror. So I, I kind of got it there and I'm just going to try not to blink and just attach this one. Now you can see this one is a little too close and I can kind of feel it. So I'm just going to pull just a tiny bit on them and there we go so here's what that looks like from the bottom and I'm just gonna kind of keep pressing just until I feel like they're really secure but look at that and look how amazing these are so so pretty I really actually like these two I haven't tried the style yet and here's what it looks like from the top Just, they look just so beautiful and so natural and I love that they actually are from the bottom because that makes them look more natural. So I'm going to do the other eye as well just so you can get kind of double the instruction if you will. So just to demonstrate I would pick it up this way. So you see I'm holding the edge. I could actually even hold it a little further up. It would be even better. I almost feel like actually looking into the viewfinder might be, might be easiest but again pulling my lid up a little bit. You don't have to do that. You don't want to put these too far down too. It will really depend on your eye shape. But you don't want to take it down all the way here and place it all the way at the edge, like on the corner of your lash line because you might experience irritation from the band kind of poking you there. But also it could make your eyes look droopy, especially if you have hooded lids. So I like to leave a little bit of room and I never feel like it looks awkward or anything like that. Moving on to the second one. I'm gonna go as close as possible. I'm gonna use my finger to hold it in place and then go back, flip, flip the tweezers around and push them together. Again, you can use your finger instead if you're using tweezers, if you don't have applicators like this. And then last one, I mean, I could probably maybe get away with just the two. Maybe if I use the shorter one, I could probably just do two, but I always feel like the three just makes it look more complete. Take them off, replace. Use a finger. Sometimes I actually feel like the finger is easier to do. But I mean, look how fluffy they look. They look so, so natural. And I do also really love the spiky style. I'm actually going to insert a video because I did uh, post them on my Instagram stories a couple weeks ago. So I'll insert that here to show you what those look like. Oh my god, just chef's kiss. They look absolutely beautiful. Just a little bit more glam. And here's what both eyes look like. With the lashes applied loving the style so far so now i want to talk about who i think that these are ideal for i don't think these are ideal if you're someone that wears a lot of eyeshadow every day like you really go in you add a lot of matte shadows you add a lot of sparkly shimmery shadows these are not going to last you as long as they could if you were someone who doesn't really wear eye makeup so of course you can put these on if you wear a lot of eye makeup but just don't expect them to last you more than like a day maybe two it's all about how careful you are with removing your eye makeup and that is something that you might not want to deal with so i will get into kind of details on how i remove my eye makeup when i wear these to get these to stay on as long as possible might not be something that you're not interested in the other con is if you do put on something really really sparkly and you have some sort of fallout it will fall down onto the top of the lash and it's pretty hard to kind of get rid of that so if you're trying to wear these for a couple of days and the first day you wore a sparkly eyeshadow you're probably going to have some sort of sparkly eyeshadow left on the tops of your lashes because of the sticky prongs that are there they might just get stuck there a little bit but 
Personally, not a really huge deal for me, but if you do wear something very, very sparkly a lot, that might end up bothering you, or of course, unless you're just putting these on after you finished an eye look just to wear out for a night out or something like that, and you don't really care for them to last over a course of a few days that it totally doesn't matter because you can apply them after you put on eye makeup but that is something I noticed and I just wanted to call it out also if you're somebody that just likes to pick and choose which lash style you would like depending on the look then these are probably not for you because you are a little bit limited to glamorous spiky voluminous natural etc and 